Hi, I'm Roy Roberts, and this is Good Business San Diego. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, suicides in the United States hit an all-time high last year at more than 49,000. Dr. Bruce Figuret is here to talk with me today about this disturbing data and what we can do to help the people around us. In addition to being a psychologist, Dr. Figuret is the CEO of Jackson House, which offers residential mental health care and addiction treatment at facilities throughout Southern good California. Morning. Dr. Figuret, good morning. It is a difficult conversation to have, but one that you must have. So sure. what you're seeing at Jackson House, is this consistent with the CDC data? Yeah, absolutely. And to sort of add to that, um, across the country, we've seen huge increases in rates of depression, anxiety, and substance use problems. And those are all sort of, you know, potentially contributing factors to the rates of suicide that you mentioned earlier. And, you know, really, like, we're, we're a, as an organization, we're there to help people and to provide care and to provide treatment. But, you know, we can only really help um, if somebody makes the call. Right. So that's the important thing is for people that are watching today to know that there is help available. That's the mm -hmm. first step, right, is you've got to reach out. And this goes for people that may be contemplating suicide as well as family members, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so reaching out for help is, is critical um, in the process because, you know, there's a, there's a saying that goes, you know, if nothing changes and nothing changes, right? And yeah. so if there isn't something that um, affects, you know, a person and their life, from the outside, oftentimes that problem just continues to permeate and to get worse. So let's talk about some of the barriers as to why previously people might be reluctant to reach out because there's a full spectrum of reasons why they might not seek the treatment they need, right? Yeah, I mean, if, if you have a medical concern, you know, like diabetes or a heart condition, um, you know, people really aren't very hesitant to go to the doctor and sure. seek help, you know, but for many different reasons, uh, mental health and substance use problems are different and people oftentimes avoid, you know, getting the care that they need either because of a stigma associated with getting treatment for one of these problems or a variety of other factors. One of which may be a financial concern Absolutely. because they might think, and this kind of maybe compounds the problem, right? Is yeah. we're thinking, uh, I have this financial stress that compounds all of these different psychological issues that are going on. Absolutely, yeah. And, and when people seek help, you know, frequently they run into that financial barrier where yeah. they reach out, they, they call a provider, and they don't take their specific insurance. Um, so in our treatment centers throughout Southern California, we seek to uh, get contracts with all of the commercial insurance companies and as an, or, an organization we've been successful in doing that so if you have United or Anthem or w one of the other major carriers um, odds are that we're going to be able to take that uh, insurance. And the most important thing of course is to make that initial call and numbers up on the screen for people that are watching here today. You're dealing with people on the darkest days of their lives so what guidance would you give to everybody that's watching today in a general sense uh, how can we manage some of these issues? We have about 30 seconds. Yeah I mean generally speaking um, if you are struggling in a facet of your life, whether it's an interpersonal relationship or work or school or whatever it might be. I mean, that's indicative of there being something else that potentially could be worked on. So I would say having an awareness of the situation, an awareness that there is an issue, and yeah. then and then trying to find an avenue in order to you know help with those things. Right. And Jackson House may be that that avenue. And yeah. if not, then you have a referral list, Absolutely. and you'll be able to put somebody in touch with who it is that they need to get the help that they need. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks yeah. for coming. Hey, thanks for today. having me. Uh, phone number for Jackson House is 888-255-9280. That's 888-255-9280. And you can contact them online too at jacksonhousecares.com, jacksonhousecares.com.